I want to show you how to use the safe stove top safely in this room. I want you to come closer and take a good look at it. If you look at it, you can see that there are four different sizes of the stove top. Uh, burners and uh, this is our largest one and this is the smallest one so if you are going to use a small saucepan please use the small burner because I can show you what happens if you use a big one if you use a small uh, saucepan over a big burner uh, and you turn, turn the stove on you can see that there's so much heat coming out on the sides that it becomes difficult for you to stir it. It also becomes difficult for you to hold the pot because there's a lot of heat coming on the outside of the pot. So I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna put it on that burner. Now, I want, I want to show you um, how to fry an egg and I want to use this saucepan to, to do that, this uh, frying pan to do it. So look here, uh, I'm gonna uh, use this medium sized pan and I'm going to preheat it. So when you're turning the uh, burner on, you should first push in the knob, then start and pause at uh, this sign that says light and you'll hear this clicking sound. And once you see the flame, that's when you turn the knob down and bring it to the level of heat that you want. So once again, look here, you want to uh, make sure that the gas ignites so I'm going to turn this off and show it one more time. You press it first, then go to uh, light where it's, you can hear the sound of the igniter and then push this down and come over here. Now this is going to preheat. I, while this is preheating, I also want to tell you a couple more things. I should not see anyone ever leaning on the stove because when you lean on the stove, you may accidentally turn the knob and the gas may start leaking. So be careful of that. Now, another thing I want to point out is I don't want you to ever walk away from the stove while the handle is sticking out. So as long as you're standing here and stirring, it's okay for you to um, hold this and keep it here because it helps you control the pan better. But otherwise, when you're not standing here and you want to walk away, you want to turn the handle to this side. Um, I am going to be making this egg. I'll be making fried eggs, so I'll um, tell you about that as well uh, as we go along. Uh, uh, once the pan preheats, you want to add a little bit of butter to this. Uh, so I'm going to uh, add some butter right now, and I'm going to use this spoon. I have butter in this dish, and you need to need a little bit of butter. Now, often I see my students taking butter on the spoon or knife and then scraping the bottom of the frying pan. Please don't do that. We have these beautiful new frying pans and they're nonstick, so we don't, don't want to ruin them. So spread this butter using a plastic or a, a spatula that is designed for nonstick pans. So I just use this spatula uh, that'll spread the butter around. And I'm just gonna wait for it to preheat. The way I know that it has preheated is I can feel a lot of heat coming on my hand. Um, if you feel that it's still cold, then give it some more time. If it's already starting to smoke, you see smoke coming out the sides, that means you've preheated it too long and you may want to turn the heat down. Now, when you're ready to crack the egg, what works best for me is to keep it on, uh, to do it on a flat surface. That way you get fewer shells. And it's always a good idea to crack it in a separate little bowl because you don't want the egg shells to land into a hot frying pan because then it'll be difficult for you to get them out. So I'm going to use a small bowl here and I'm going to put the egg in this. So I'm going to tap it here and then put my thumb here where I made the crack and using both my thumbs just split it open like that and let the egg slide in. If there are any shells you want to get the shells out. You also want to always wash hands after you touch eggs because we have raw eggs um, carry bacteria in them and you don't want bacteria to um, be touching your hands and then you may actually touch some other surfaces with it. So I'm gonna now wash my hands very quickly. And by then my pan has preheated. My hand is turned to the side. And I'm ready to slide the egg in. 
So I'm going to slide the egg in. I can add some salt and pepper at this point. I'm going to wait for the egg to get brown on the edges. Uh, it doesn't have to get brown, but it should be dry at the edges. And add a pinch of pepper. Put this on the side. And I'll show you how you should uh, think about uh, flipping the eggs. At home, you may choose to eat eggs that are runny. Uh, but in school, I always want you to eat 100% fully cooked eggs, which means the both the white and the yellow should be firm. So uh, to cook the other side and to cook the yolk side, what I'm gonna do now is tilt the pan a little and I'm gonna slide the spatula uh, from almost the opposite side and let this egg slide onto the spatula at least halfway before I decide to flip it. Now, if it isn't flipping for you, if you feel that it is, uh, it's, diff it's not coming onto the spatula, perhaps, it needs to cook a little more. So give it a little more time. So I'm gonna give it one more try. Tilt it like this, go like that. Now flip it, okay? So you may want to puncture the yolk. So I'm just gonna press it a little, just so that the yolk kind of oozes out of its uh, skin that it's in, and um, the yolk also starts cooking on the other side. Once the other side also cooks, uh, you should keep a plate ready. And on that plate, you can slide the egg on onto here using the same method. Tilt, approach from the other side, uh, and put the egg here. So let's wait 10 more seconds just to for the eggs to cook. And I'm gonna give it a try now. So I'm gonna go like that, take it out, and put it on the plate. I have to make sure that I turn the stove off I don't want the spatula to sit here, so I'm gonna keep the spatula away, and I'm also going to let it cool. You don't want any paper towels, any towels, recipes sitting next to the stove while you're cooking. Be careful of that. When this cools off, you have to wash it, so give it some time to cool off. You can always wash the spatula right away if you want, but let the pan cool off a little. Thank you.